Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper and welcome to another Ableton Live video tutorial. Today we're gonna to talk about the best EQ3 configuration for DJing with live. If you're DJing with live, I'm guessing that you've DJed with CDJs or turntables and you've, you are familiar with a mixer. A mixer, any good mixer is gonna have three filtering systems for the lows, the mids, and the highs, and that's what the EQ3 has. So that's kind of the obvious go-to for setting up your effects rack with your EQ inside of it. There's just one problem though, and it's actually by design. The EQ3 is meant to emulate a analog filtering cascade instead of like a super clean digital filtering system. So what they did in the algorithm inside of the EQ3 was added warmth or coloring to the output of the EQ3 to kind of mimic a analog EQ system. They could have made it super flat, but they didn't. And actually the, um, the coloring is quite drastic. So what I'm gonna do is just show you this loop with nothing on it, and we're gonna check the peak meter to see where it's peaking. Okay, so that loop's peaking at negative 2.09 dB. But as soon as I flip on this EQ3 and run that loop again, we're gonna see a big jump in the peak dB. Okay, so now we're at 3.8, which is a lot. We're talking about almost 6 dB jump there. So the first thing you can do to kind of, if you want to, you don't have to do this, by the way. This is just if you want less coloring of the output audio signal that you're going to be writing through the EQ3. So the first thing we can do is go from 48-bit to 24-bit. And remember, on 48-bit was at 3.8. Let's see what 24-bit does. Okay, so we got rid of about 0.3 dB there. Now we're at 3.5. But there is a feature inside of the EQ3 that you might not know about, and that's if you right-click the title bar here, there is a flat response parameter that's kind of hidden. So if you check that, and let's go back to 48 to see what it's peaking at now. So remember, we had 3.8 on the regular 48 and 3.5 on the regular 24, but now we're going to check out 48 with the flat response. So as you can see now we got 3.56 which is 24.24 uh, .24 dB less than the regular 48 and just 0 .06 above the 24. So obviously now if we go back to 24 with the flat response still selected, we should get the lowest possible uh, coloring of the audio. So we do, we see a, a, a full dB off of the regular 24 when we have the flat response selected. It went from 3.60 to 2.61, which is, I mean, more or less a decibel. So that's something that you wanna keep in mind when you're using the EQ3 as a DJ EQ inside of Ableton Live.